Greetings to everyone. Happy 15th UAE National Day. UAE National Day is celebrated on the 2nd of December every year. This is a day when all the Emirates united at the Union House and formed the United Arab Emirates. In 1971, under the leadership of Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nahyan, he was also the first president of the UAE. On this day, the celebration is held all across the UAE. On this day, the celebration is held all across the country as the UAE National Day, which is a holiday for all the Emirates. Yeah, 2nd December 2021 Wednesday is the 50th National Day of UAE. It is celebrated with laughter, high spirits and merriments. This being the country's 50th National Day celebration, the country has decided to organize its Golden Jubilee celebrations. Hi, UAE has a world recognition as a sovereign state and the most popular state. It was declared in 1968 and became a federal merger of the seven Emirates in 1971. The UAE has been rated as the second safest country in the world, according to a new report. The high ranking came in this year's safety index of 134 countries compiled by Global Finance magazine. The index takes into account three fundamental factors, war, personal security and risk of natural disasters. On this day, the country shows the spirit of courage and pride and this legacy is shown in the people living in the country. The UA National Day is a time which reflects the spirit of happiness, progress and prosperity in the country as it is a time where the importance of the gathering of the seven Emirates coming together as one. Do you know Expo 2020 conceives with the UAE's Golden Jubilee which marks 50 years of the UAE National Day with 192 countries taking part, each pavilion telling a different story. The visitors to Expo 2020 will have the world at their fingertips. Yeah, the United Arab Emirates Pavilion for Expo 2020 symbolizes the country's history of falconry and its bold and daring spirit, which has transformed a collection of small desert community into a global hub for commerce and tourism. Yes, we would like to take you to a virtual tour at Expo 2020 Dubai that embodies the spirit of the UAE and carry forward the legacy forged by the country's original dreamer, the late Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nahyan, the founding father. So what are we waiting for? Let's go! Hi viewers, we're on our way to the Expo Center right now. It's a beautiful day. It's an amazing day. The weather's looking a little cool right now and, and we're hoping for an exciting and a momentous and beautiful, beautiful day today. Hello, we are going to Expo 2020 and I'm really excited. It's my first time and we'll be uh, going to the pavilions and I'm super excited and also going with my friend. It's more exciting. Today we're going to Expo 2020. I'm super excited. I have my friend with here. I'm really excited and I love this place so much. I hope you should also go to Expo. It is really fun. And yeah, you should definitely go to Expo. What a beautiful day, isn't it? I am on the way to Expo with our team, which comprises of a couple of teachers, my friends and a media person. I'm really excited to go over there and I'm hoping for an amazing day. Finger crossed that the day goes really well and I'm feeling over the moon. Okay, we are getting closer and closer and closer and we are getting really, really close to the center point of the Expo 2020. Let's go! And I think we have 50 meters left currently and we are on our way. We're about to reach here, yeah, hoping to see an amazing day for us. Yeah, we're hoping for an amazing day. We're hoping for you're hoping for an amazing day, right? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Expo and I'm so excited we can meet and we are going to go inside the expo when it's super hot here. The world has its own. 
it stands in the palm of our Okay, now we just parked our uh, bus right there. So now we're going to take an expo rider since it is kind of far away. So we're going to take an expo rider. Now we are out from the Expo Rider and now we are going in the Expo and I am on the 7th sky now. I am sure about that. So let's go. Wow. As you can see behind me, that is a lot of flags. Trust me, that is a lot of flags. That is, to be honest, the most flags I have ever seen in a long time. And as you can see, we have the gate entrance behind me. That's like the excitement already building up slowly and slowly and slowly. I can't wait. I really can't wait. I just want to enter in right now and just have all the excitement I can right now. I can't wait. Finally, we are here in Dubai to explore Expo 2020. Most pavilions attract long queues. So the key to avoid these longer lines is by activating your smart queue system on your ticket. This place is really nice, so it's time to go. Let's go. Wow, what a breathtaking view. And do you know that this exact spot was where Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Maktoum led the inauguration of the Expo 2020, the Al Wasl Plaza, in which the inauguration of the Expo 2020 was led by Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. And also, this plaza is surmounted by a dome of which any any image can be projected in 360 degrees. Isn't that amazing and breathtaking? Trust me, the more I look at it, the more I enjoy looking at the view. It's amazing. Inside, it's quite huge. So let's see what it is. They divide us into groups and call you by your group number. Our group number was 17. After a short wait, we got to experience this amazing pavilion. The UAE Pavilion was designed to embody the main theme of Expo 2020, connecting minds, creating the future, and serve as a symbol of the UAE's pioneering spirit. From its Asian roots as a crossroad for people, goods and ideas, to its transformation into a united nation, see the uniqueness of the UAE as a welcoming home to people from over 200 countries. Are you ready for Expo 2020 Dubai? With the greatest show on earth less than a month away, we're waiting with bathed breath to see the spectacular event. It starts on 1st October 2021 and ends in 31st March 2022, featuring six different zones for an exceptional experience. A three-story structure totaling 1564 square meters and the UAE pavilion design features 28 movable wings the land of dreamers. This is actually sand. It is sand dunes that they have put together and I initially thought this is only a box. But you can touch the sand. 15 years ago, the UAE was all just a dream. Reading this code made me so proud of the things that the UAE has achieved in the past 50 years. And I am so happy to call this place my home. And I'm sure you too if you were lying in UAE. 
featuring six different zones for an exceptional experience. Number one, landscape. Number two, nomadic life. Number three, ancient across roads. Number four, vision. UAE Vision 2021 was launched by His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, Vice President and Prime Minister of the UAE and ruler of Dubai at the closing of a cabinet meeting in 2010. The vision aims to make UAE amongst the best countries in the world by the golden jubilee of the union. In order to translate the vision into reality, its pillars have been mapped into six national priorities which represent the key focus sectors of government action in the coming years. Number five, unity. We remember the great leaders who achieved the dream of unity. Our unity have been the fence that have protected our nation and preserves its gains. It is a fortress that has withstood regional and international dangers and will continue to be the umbrella under which we strive to achieve our goals. Number six, building the nation. Number seven, thriving together. And number eight, near future. And also an animated show which focuses on the humble beginning of the UAE. Experience was like we were sitting and watching a show, but it felt like something was real inside me. Something was moving. I was in the air. I felt really good and I saw how the people used to live. The UA Pavilion is right next to the Al Waris Plaza and it's actually in the Falcon in Flight building, which makes it hard for the visitors to miss it. The UA Pavilion is covered by a magnificent 
wingspan comprising 28 wings that opens and closes throughout the day. The most important is the bird of prey that it even dominates the national emblem of UAE. Wow, that was an amazing show from the UAE Pavilion. We got to see the UAE in just half a century. Can you imagine all the things they have done in just half a century? We got to see the past and the future of the United Arab Emirates. And this is also a reminder to tell people that there is much more that you can do if you have faith in yourself and in your country. just went to the waterfall it was really fun so basically what you have to do is you just remove all your stuff from your from our legs then we just go it, there's like black rocks there and we just stand on there and then waterfall is coming it is very nice and then the, a lot of water is coming and also it will not wet us it is very nice and then I saw a, some something else it was actually steaming the water was steaming but it was not hot at all it was actually cold and I really enjoyed it This place is so huge that you can't complete it in one day. So you have to make multiple visits. Amazing. That was such an impressive pavilion from the moment we walked in. I myself, I was inspired by all the quotations and the show was the highlight of the pavilion. And I am sure you were impressed too. I'm hoping you enjoyed our vlog. Thank you so much for watching and happy UA National Day. Bye-bye.